Hi guys, uh, this is my Logitech G432 headset review and uh, before I get started, in order to get the surround sound effect, you will have to download and install the software that, come, that goes with the headphones. You have to actually go on the Logitech site to get it and there's no disc in the box. So like I said, you have to go to Logitech and download the software. And you won't get the surround sound effect unless you have the software running in the background. So what you do, this is your main screen. You click on your headset icon. All right, and here's your acoustic settings. You have your volume, your microphone, your side tone, which is pretty cool because it actually lets you hear what your voice sounds like uh, through the microphone in your headset. So here you got uh, settings, noise removal, I use that, advanced audio equalizer, <clears throat> excuse me, that's this. And on here you got your, your settings, your bass boost. And each one of these changes your equalizer settings. Cinematics, communications, flat, you know, it all depends on what you like. And it has memory down here, bass boost, bass boost copy one copy two and that's what I use when I listen to music but for this video for the demo I'm going to put on bass boots and I'm just going to flatten everything because sometimes it might sound too bassy for some people now you go down to your surround sound settings enable surround sound which I did all right entertainment gaming sports super stereo mode I don't use that does, to me it just makes I don't know makes stereo sound crappy I, I just don't like it but what I will say is these sound better than Dolby Atmos for headphones or Windows spatula sound for headphones as long as you got the software running in the background and by the way it will it will work with any set of headphones almost you'll get the surround sound effect as long as you have the software running Maybe not get it as good as the headset it was designed to work with, but you will get surround sound. Now on a microphone, to mute it, all you got to do is push it up, push it, push it straight up all the way, and it, it'll mute itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my mic up, and I'll do a surround sound test. You'll hear it. And by the way, if you can, put your headphones on, and you will get the surround sound effect. Okay, so let's go. This is the left channel. Next, we have the center channel. Over here is the right channel. This is the right surround channel. Now, the right rear surround channel. Next, the left rear surround channel. This is the left surround channel. The next sound you'll hear is the LFE channel.
Okay, that's it for the sound test, and uh, the only downside to these headphones that I can find is the padding could be a little better, because after a while they do feel a little uncomfortable, probably, you know, maybe I got them on too tight, I don't know, everybody, you know, different strokes for different folks, but I got these on Amazon for 50 bucks, and uh, hopefully they'll last as long as my other Logitech headphones that are 10 years old and have been stepped on and looked like hell. But uh, yeah, I, I like them and I enjoy them. And like I said, once you get the software installed, they'll work with almost any headset. So, well, that's about it. Uh, catch you guys later. Bye-bye.